Well, year-end is the perfect time to clean up your investment accounts and also to help your favorite charities. For more, we're joined now by Jill Schlesinger from CBSMoneyWatch.com. She's up in New York for us this morning. Hi, Jill. Good morning, G. Morning. Good, good morning. So you say losers are winners at this time of year. Please explain that. that I know you like this one. Well, if you have investment losses in a taxable account, you can sell them to offset gains that you may have taken previously in the year. Now, here's the great part. If you have more losses than gains, you really bought a bummer of a stock, you can deduct up to $3,000 of those losses against your old ordinary income. If you've got more than $3,000, you can carry over that amount to future years. Now, just remember, though, if you're going to sell something and you just want to replace it quickly, you've got to actually have a different kind of an asset. So again, within 30 days, the new asset can't be what the IRS calls substantially identical. It's known as the wash sale rule. To avoid it, you can wait 31 days and repurchase what you sold, or you can just replace it with something that's kind of close, but not the same thing. So maybe like a cheaper index fund. So now you're really cleaning up that portfolio. How about that? How about that? Well, say so you have a great stock doing really well. Would you want to sell that this time of year or no? Well, maybe, and this, I usually don't say that. I usually say let those winners ride, but it may make sense for cert to sell certain assets this year because if you are a high wage earner, however the government's going to end up defining that, you know you're going to pay more taxes next year. So well, here's what we know. Right now, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, is going to levy a new 3.8% surtax on capital gains. That has nothing to do with the fiscal cliff. If we add the fiscal cliff on top of that, we could actually see the top capital gains rate rise to 23.8 percent. So if you're planning to sell an asset like company stock or you got a large concentration in a holding, this could be a great year to lock in your gains at these lower rates. Okay. So Joe, before you go, how can investors help charities? Hmm. Well, come on, let's get into the holiday spirit, right. but let Uncle Sam help you out. One way to lower that tax bill in April is to donate your appreciated securities, stocks or bonds, mutual funds, to a charity. You get to write off the current market value, not what you paid for them, and escape taxes on those gains. Next year, the overall limit on itemized deductions, that's charitable, is going to start to change. That could limit what you can deduct. So deductions could be more valuable this year than next Next year on MoneyWatch.com, head on over there. We've got four valuable tax credits that are going to expire this year. Guys, tax credits are always better than deductions, and I want you to grab them before they expire. Oh, website right now. All right, thanks. You have <laughs> thanks a great you. holiday. Happy Take holidays. Care. Mm -hmm. Take care.